morning, everyone. Dan Schutte here, coming to you from the Seed Collection Shop uh, at Shoreview Natives. Just wanted to take a second this morning to talk a little bit about conifers and how we collect seeds from conifer trees. I've got laid out in front of me here uh, white pine cones and just a little bit about what's happening in the tree with these cones and at what point uh, they're growing these cones throughout the summer months and in the fall you start to see these fully developed cones usually with a white pine way up high in the top of the white pine tree holding off the, uh, the ends of the limbs. And so at that point, uh, in early fall, real late summer, you've got this kind of cone structure up there. You can see this thing is just coated with some extremely sticky sap and that holds all the scales on that thing tightly shut. Now as the fall progresses and things dry out a little bit more and the plant, the uh, tree starts to go dormant, that sap starts to dry up and you can see these scales start from the bottom opening up and kind of uh, lifting themselves from each other and as that's happening behind each one of those scales there is a pair of seeds that's oriented behind the scale just like that. So the seed is at the end of this this little wing is kind of like people uh, a lot of times as kids play with maple seeds, a helicopter type uh, shape on the seed. And that structure is there. So when those cones, when they're at the top of the tree, they open up. The next big wind comes along. It lifts the seed out of the scale and it makes it helicopter its way away from the mother tree and, you know, hopefully turn into a new seedling uh, a ways away. So that's what's happening at the top of the tree. The trick is to get those seeds before they go through that natural release process and they all leave the tree. So what we've been doing is right before these scales start to dry out and open up, we collect the cones. So we've got a rake that we've got on an extension pole. We go up and we grab some of the lower ones and we just tug them down. We put those on a big piece of cardboard here in the seed collection shop and we just let them start drying out. We don't disturb them, so all the seeds are still in there. We let them open up to here. We let them fully open up to here as they're drying out. And then it's awfully easy, once the scales are open, to just grab a five gallon bucket like this. You put all your open cones in there. And then we're just gonna bounce them up and down a little bit. And just that little jostling is gonna release all those seeds and they're gonna collect in our bucket. And I'll show you what I mean. in the bucket and take all those out set them aside and then just from those few cones we can dump out all the seeds we've got in there probably a couple dozen seeds right there extremely simple process I'll show you really quick um, we probably have maybe a hundred of these cones and in the bottom of this roasting pan are all of our seeds I'm guessing we've got Know, upwhere between 2,500 to 3,000 seeds in there. So we did that just over the course of an hour or two as far as the cone collection. And there we have it. A few, few little tricks. Um, one is knowing how to get that sap off of your hands if you've been dealing with a lot of these uh, fresh cones off the tree. Jason's behind the camera there. But he did a little research and olive oil takes the sap right off of your hand. Put a bunch on your hand, rub it around, and then wash that off with um, some hand soap or some Dawn dish soap, and everything comes off all together. So that's a pretty good trick. Now this other seed that I've got here, also from a conifer, the white cedar tree, which is a beautiful tree up here in northern Minnesota. Very similar process and structure. These cones that I took off the tree, or they start out closed up, and then behind each one of these scales, there's a little seed in there. So just on a small scale, we've got those there. We're gonna put them into a Tupperware. We're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna shake that. And after a little shake, you can take the cones back out. And then right on the table there, all those tiny little pieces of parchment paper type stuff are individual white cedar seeds. So now we've got them right there. In either case, uh, whether it's a cedar or white pine or any other conifer, um, a 
spruce, a tamarack, we go through the same process. We get the seed separated and then we're just going to put that in a Ziploc bag in storage until we get to a point late December, early January where we're going to want to put that through a cold stratification process and then we're going to be ready to germinate these seeds uh, late February, early March and we're going to have a bunch of uh, tree seedlings by the end of next summer. So stay tuned for the next steps in this process and uh, have fun collecting a few cones while you're out there. Thanks.